when you, when you get in an accident, the first thing that you, you impact is the bumper in most instances. And the bumper is either too badly damaged and gets replaced, or they're repairing it. Now when they're repairing it, mostly it's a cosmetic repair with either a, a welder, a plastic welder, and then some material on top. And that's not a structural repair. And when they're trying to fit the component back on the vehicle, you'll often have a cracking or a breaking in, in the finished repair. What we have here is a hot stapler that fuses a suture or a staple into the plastic. We have several different shapes of staples for the different uh, body lines that you have. You have an M-shaped one for an outside curve, such as here. You have a, a tight stitch for small areas or larger areas, but the small areas like the tabs, okay. which have a tendency to break, and you can use it across there and create great strength in it. Once you're done uh, welding it in, you clip the nibs off. You have an S-shaped curve, again, for stitching action all the way down, or uh, for a round around it, because the S will work its way around the curve. Okay. All right? Then you have a V-shaped one, and the V-shaped is for the inside right angles. Okay. So on, along the inside here to create strength, or anywhere you have that. Now these can be used on bumper fascia, and they go in very easily into the plastic. It's a matter of heating it, placing it in the heating element. Now this heating element cools very rapidly after you're done. You, you can touch it right away. Light amount of pressure. Reposition my hand. As it heats up, you'll notice that the plastic starts melting around and you see black. Yeah. As the black goes up, hovering over the Thanks silver, up. then you know that it's about halfway through. But before you finish taking your finger off the trigger and it's melted in, what you want to do is you want to give it a quick and simple twist. Let go of the trigger, pull it out. You let go of the trigger the so you don't pull the it. Twist. The purpose of the twist is so that it pulls laterally through the plastic to lock. Okay. The letting go of the trigger is so you don't pull it straight through the hot plastic once it's done. Okay. When you're done, you go ahead and clip off those clips and you get a very strong structural repair. So that in this instance here, I've cut in this, this uh, spool apart. I've put staples in here. Now I can, I get strength and flexibility. The flexibility is important for when you're trying to fit the part back on. And it creates the strength. I can also use it on structural repairs, such as a headlight assembly on a clip or on an air box or something. I then I am able to use the stitches or the sutures on those hard plastic pieces. I've cut this in half here, and I have torsionity and strength and lateral strength and rigidity. You can see the strength that I put into that product there, much more than you could ever glue together. So this system comes with the tool and 50 of each of those four style staples or sutures. And it runs $529. It's packaged in a uh, hand carry briefcase okay. kind of thing. Did you get all that?